think it's time that somebody wrote of Malcolm and Martha drink bottles of notes. You can't tell the difference between these two friends, their purposes and likes, no books and pens. Everyone's singing and waiting a train, drinks the stink of this pouring with rain. Chippity, 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 chuff, and all that other train spotting stuff. I can't see the pleasure, I have to confess, of watching the class go to London Express. But Malcolm and Margaret are in quite a state, cause the train I just mentioned is running so late. It was during at midnight, oh where can it be? The station is cold and it's twenty past three. Hickory, dickory, hickory dock, and round and round go the hands of the floor. Now all of the engines are tucked in their sheds, all of the computers are sitting in their beds. And Malcolm and Margaret, both anorak clad, stand on the platform dejected and sad. They huddle together to keep out the cold, and Malcolm starts getting incredibly cold. Rickety, rockety, rickety, rack, and train for the Margaret is flat on her back. I never knew train spotting could be so much fun, said Margaret stretched across that one. And Malcolm said, neither did I to dream, I come like the mallard as I get the steam. You are more like the flying Scotsman to me, said Margaret, who once had a blood from Dundee. Pippity, poppity, pippity, poo, and the train for the Margaret is long overdue. They made love on platforms, eight, nine, and ten, on thirteen and forty, they did it again. And now that you know what happened that night, you'll never see train spotters in the same light. I wish you'd been a mail train, she said with a kiss. A letter from France would have not gone amiss. Chippity-choppity-chippity-chop, no more of this smutty train.